afternoon everybody it's Bella here I'm just playing at the moment I'm just trying to get some ephemera um, into my journal so uh, perhaps I thought you might like to craft along with me it's a beautiful day here today and all's well my husband's out all day so I thought well I'll make the most of the quiet and um, and do some crafting. I'm just lining the back of this tag. This is an Edith Holden um, paper, as you can see. I thought that was a German one then, but it isn't. Um, okay, so Get rid of the rubbish a moment. Check I'm recording. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I think so. Right, so let's line the back while we're at it and then um, that's all ready to go then. And then we can do some embellishing. Got a funny feeling I'm running out of uh, glue, so I'm going to have to get up and get some glue in a moment. For one moment then I thought I'd put it on the wrong side, but I'm okay. We're doing okay. You notice every time you cut these, they get a bit smaller. Don't know why we can't cut on the line. <laughs> no problem. There we go. Right, that's done. Let's redo that a moment. Try to ink as much as I could before I started, so there's always something, isn't there? Well, Rachel had me running around in circles yesterday. I'll tell you a funny story. We'd sold um one of her blue bundles on her Etsy on her Etsy shop, and she thought I had it. And I thought she had it, and we spent, it must have been an hour and a half here, because she came over for the afternoon, and um, you never guess where it was, the material and the bundle that she was looking for was in her boot. So we were both frazzled by the end of the, the afternoon, so um, there we go, that's the way it goes, isn't it? We, we do these things, we keep moving things around, and then <laughs> we can't find them. Like, no, I've forgotten what I'm doing. Here we go. Oh, I was going to get some glue. Excuse me a moment. Be two ticks. I know where the glue is. I remembered. Here we go. If I get the top off, that is. I don't think they'll bother with that. There we are. Oh, it's a bit splodgy, but never mind. It's going to stick, isn't it? There we go. Too much glue. This is the tag to go in this pocket here, which I'll show you in a moment. Try not to shake the table. So there we go. That's down. So I thought we would... I'm getting confused now. Oh, here we go. I got it. I got it. That's what I thought would go on there. 
Actually, I don't think I want more flower on there. Mm -hmm. This is an old bit of um, of one of my husband's letters or his father's, grandfather's letters because they're very old. I don't want to cover that number up. I love those numbers. So we'll do our best to try and keep that. I think I'll go there. And I think I'm going to put that over the top. Yes. Decision made. I can make decisions sometimes. Try not to square it up. I, I always try and um, take it over the edge if I can because it looks nicer. Okay, so that's that one. There we are. And I was just making some little um, clusters to go in my... So I'll bring over my journal in a second. You ready for this? There we go. And that's going in there. That's the inside of the Tim Holtz. So that was the other thing I was going to do there. Put the cluster on there. So that's reminding me. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put that on there. And I'm just trying to think whether I'm going to put... I was playing with the um with the with the date and everything, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. There's the bit I was looking for. Viola. Viola. Excellent. We'll put that on and then we'll find something else to to go in. I'm a bit quiet today, aren't I? I think I wore myself out yesterday looking for all that stuff for Rachel. I hope you're all doing well and keeping yourselves happy and cheerful. And things are lightening up here, so I'm, I'm not not quite um, quite sure what is going on. Because my husband's, as you know, is a vicar and he's doing a wedding today, and he's also doing a baptism. So, but there are a lot of people allowed to come to the wedding at the moment. So. I think that's probably why I'm a little bit nervous today because I'm a bit worried about him, but I'm sure he'll be fine. There we are. Hope I'm on frame. I have black cotton in my machine, so I thought that would would do. What's going on there? Is that straight? Can't tell. There we go. How's that? So that's on there. That's on the inside of the, or the outside of the Tim Holtz. Um, I've got to put a topper on there because it looks a bit bare, doesn't it? Funny how I've chosen two of the same colour. Oh, well. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I was going to put some of that eyelash on the top of there. I think I'll um, reach across and get it. Hold on, Auntie. Here it is. I've got it. Here we are. Nearly fell off my chair. Nearly did a uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations then. She's always worried she's going to land on her face, but she always manages to steady herself, doesn't she? So I think what we'll do, we'll put a hole in there. So I need my... crocodile. Second. Sorry, I'm fiddling with the fiddling with these. Trying to get the trying to get the colour. Okay, dogs. Yes, I think that'll be rather nice on there. I hope I'm in frame now. I put a B and an S on there for big and small. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've got my glasses by the way. And now I can drive. Isn't that marvellous? really excited about that so I'm hoping my long distance will be sorted out now and I can get out and about and, and not panic when I'm driving. Ooh, I pinched that a bit. What happened there? 
No, I think it's okay. Oh, I'll, I'll bang that down with my hammer afterwards. See what I mean? They don't always go down. So I'll give that a bit of a bash with my hammer. Well, that looks nice. Right, let's have some of this furry stuff. I could not remember the name, eyelash. Rachel had to remind me. Oh, there it is. Isn't this lovely? Kind lady gave me this. I'm not going to mention her name because I'm not going to... I don't want to get it wrong because I've been doing these um, tag swaps with people and I've had a few, so I, I will mention her name just in case I choose the wrong name. I've done a few of um, Anne from Oak House Journals. I've done uh, a few, uh, I think it's a th I've done three now tag swaps with hers, of hers, because she she started it a while ago and I decided to do it. Now, this is going to be fun now, trying to find where the middle of this is. Hmm. I think that's it. Not 100% sure, but we'll try and um, I've been getting some beautiful tags from people. And obviously I've been sending tags back. And I'm also doing the uh, Anne Brooks challenge. I don't know if any of you have been doing that with the embroidery and the... Never mind, I'll sort that out later because I can always take it back out and do it again. But you're getting the idea, aren't you? I don't know, it looks quite nice. I could hang something on there, couldn't I? I could hang a... a a charm, if I could think where I'd put them. Um, anyway, that's going in there for now. So there we are. We've got a bit of, bit of uh, fluffy bits by there. That's that. Put those over there. Tidy up. Let's have a look in the journal now and see what we're, we're up to next. This is how far I've got. I have gone on and done a bit, as you know. I do, do tend to do that, don't I? So here we go. I'll close it up and I'll show you what I've done. There's the closure. And it goes round somehow. I won't do it now because I'm going to get in a mess. Anyway, that goes like that. All right. You're in for a surprise at the back. Wait, you see the back. Let me pull my... My down. There we are. That's what I put on on the bottom. And Rachel and I had a discussion. We were we were wondering whether or not they would look better at the top. Because I'd have to take it all out, wouldn't I? And have to change it over and put it at the top. Or whether but she, she said if it's down like that, it can still dangle off the shelf. So there we go. I've got some trees charms all right they're quite nice so that's that i've done those and you've seen that so let's go through the journal now still have made my mind up about this whether or not uh, to put pockets there let me know what you think um here we are just done that just done this and i put a, a button on there these don't get in the way. They're quite they're quite happy to be by there. So I think that'll be okay. That's a glassine bag. I'll just put this on. A little bobbing. And this is one of Corey's. If Corey does all these lovely Tim Holtz tags. So I'll get Rachel to put the link at the bottom. So we made that. I think I've shown you that before. So that's what I put in there. Fits nicely in there, doesn't it? Another one of our pages that we did. Tags. More tags. I put a fox on there. In the word. Mushrooms or toadstools. It's just one I, I made with a masterboard. It's 
another one I made. I can't decide whether to use, no, I don't know what the name of this is. Um, Rachel from Roxy Creations showed us how to uh, use this. And I think that's what I've used. No, I haven't. I don't think I've got one in here. No. Well, if I use that, I'll show you what it looks like and show you on a piece of paper, can't I? Let's get some paper. Show you what it does. There. All right. So I might do that on that tag. This is one I made yesterday. Quite a stiff one, that one. I put some paper on there. Yeah, that one's got a little tuck. This one's got a little tuck. I'm not sure about this. I'm thinking about this one. I'm not sure yet. I'm just trying things out and then uh, I'll make my mind up. Now, with this, because the elastic is in it, what you need to do is fold it up like that and then let it drop and then it, you'll find it go over better. It's funny how you discover these things as you go along, isn't it? What's that? This was the next one I was going to do. That's what I was working on there. So. So a couple of things we're working on there to do. So I'll move my punch out of the way and I can move my journal back over there. All right. Find my glue. Don't we all love Edith Holden? And for this kind of thing, it's absolutely ideal, don't you think? Rachel's busy working on a new kit. I better not say what it is, because I've forgotten what it is. She'll murder me, but never mind. Now I've done a silly thing. I've glued that there. Now, what can I use to wipe it? Wet Sorry, I'm bouncing up and down today. If I dry it on there a minute, like blotting paper. It's got to dry because a tag's got to go underneath it. So we'll leave that for a minute and we'll sort out what's going to go on the top. I won't, uh, I won't glue it down yet. It is drying quietly. There we go. Right, let's see. Quite like that. I know it's got two flowers on, that's the only thing. This is why it's good to have bits around you, isn't it? What else have I got? In my little box. Not sure, what do you think? Just 
too much. Hmm. Can't make my mind up now. I like that actually. I, I know it's got, but we could put a word over that, couldn't we? Um, yes. Nice to audition, isn't it? There we go. And I think that's almost dry. Almost. Almost dry. Gonna use the art glitter on this one. The material sometimes is best to use the art glitter. Put plenty on and should be okay. If not, I'll have to use the um Probably tough. Just checking if there's any writing on there, but never mind. Like I say, always move it across so everything isn't in line, and you'll find that um, it'll be nicer on the eye. Okay. There we are. Oh, I'm dying to show you what I've done at the back of the um, of this journal. So let's let's screw this in and carry on, and then we'll. That's going to be a little tuck there, okay? So I need to glue that now, and get this right there, there, and down there. Right. Yes, I like that there. Nice and raggedy, isn't it? I'm not sure that's straight, but it doesn't matter. It's not meant to be perfect, is it? There we go. Right, there we are. That's it. Like I say, keep lifting it up. And if it gets on your nerves, you can always sew it in if whoever buys this. I was playing with the idea of sewing the um sewing them to, you know, pamphlet stitch or whatever it's called, three stitches. But I decided against it because I thought if you wanted to work on it, you could take it out. Oh, it's no good, I'm gonna to have to show you. That's, that's going on on here, and I'm going to put something else up here. And I've lost that. Um, isn't it funny how things disappear? I lost the bit that I was going to put up there, but I'll find it. Don't worry. So we'll leave that for now. You've seen all this inside. I've still got to decorate these. Look. How about that then? So we've got our pencils in here. I've made a little pouch. You've got some coloured pencils there. And notice that they're wood, in keeping with the theme, wood. You've got two drawing pen artist pencils there, and they're in wood as well. So, And they're different colour, which is a good thing, because it will show you that they are not coloured pencils. I've cut out a load of, well, torn actually, birds from my lovely book. To give you inspiration if you'd like to draw them or paint them or even just glue them into this art. Let me make sure you're on screen a minute. There we go. Okay, if you wanted to put some birds in there and then do a little um, drawing of them, you've got these then it'll give you some ideas. All right. That's an Edith Holden flower. And this is music with a lovely poem. Down yonder green valley where streamlets meander, when twilight is fading, I pensively rove, or at the bright noontide in solitude wander amid the dark shades of the lonely ash grove. Isn't that just lovely? I thought that was ideal for beautiful wanderings journal 
Oh, Rachel said, don't try and put it back in, Mum, because it'll never go in. So I'm just going to leave them there and I'm just going to show you what's going to be in the back of the journal. So I'll leave those for a moment, put those over there. All right. And what I've done, I've stitched lace on here. It's off a, a beautiful tablecloth that we had. And at the back, if you can see, there is card. So those pieces of paper go down behind the card or whatever. Uh, Rachel suggested that I made something to go over the pencils, but I'm not sure about that. I don't know if that's going to work so that it doesn't mark this. But I think it doesn't really matter. It's an artist uh, book anyway. It's going to get all muddy and, and whatever. So I don't think I'm going to bother doing that. I think I like the pencils showing. So I don't know what you think. So that's going to go on there. I might put the 1906. I don't know. I can't make my mind up. But I'm definitely going to glue that on there. So we'll do that now. There we go. And that's another pocket to put your bits and pieces. And I've got more glassine bags actually, so I might put another glassine bag in there ready for you to put some more of your templates or things that you would like to. I'm playing now. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I've still got to make a pocket for here. So that's what we've done today. We made those. I'm still playing, but... Um, I don't want to overstuff it because you're going to be carrying this around whoever, if anyone ever does buy it. Uh, hopefully they will because it's a, it's a beautiful jewel. I'm not even sure I'm going to sell it because I uh, I paint myself. So um, I shall see. So that's that. I quite like that. And I'm pleased with that. I'm not sure whether we need something down the side there, but it's rather nice when you take it out, isn't it? So... No, I don't think I will. I think that'll be it. And then um, we shall carry on then. And I'll do a flip through when it's finished. Okay, so that's it for today. And um, have a good day. The sun is shining, so I hope you're all out playing or in your craft room with your windows open, getting some fresh air. And uh, take care. Bye for now.